What plea would uh, Mr. Jones enter today? Uh, not guilty. All right. NBA player and Portland native Terrence Jones arrested after police say he stomped on a sleeping homeless man. Welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Police say that this happened early this morning as the Houston Rockets and former Jefferson High School star was leaving a Northwest 3rd Avenue nightclub. Tim Becker is live now with more on this case. Tim. Stomp is, in fact, the word that the police are using in their press release today. And right here, next to their Old Town precinct in this alcove, is where they say it happened, where the homeless man was sleeping. Well, this afternoon, Jones faced charges of misdemeanor harassment in court for it. Did you, uh, did you stop on the homeless man last night? It's not the kind of court the 21-year-old hoop star wanted to walk into today. But less than 24 hours after he was arrested, Terrence Jones, his mother and his attorney, went before a judge to enter a plea on charges of misdemeanor harassment. What plea would uh, Mr. Jones enter today? Uh, not guilty. Police arrested Jones just after 2 this morning after an officer patrolling outside a nightclub says he saw Jones on the next block in front of this doorway where two people were sleeping, yelling, wake up, then raising his leg and stomping down on one of the men's legs. Today in court, his attorney said otherwise. Do you think you're yeah. fine? Is it though? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So he did not stomp or kick? Stomp. No. You know, that's your, that's your word? That's police that's word. Yeah. word. Yeah. That's not in the uh, complaint. Police say the homeless man, identified as Daniel Kelleher, suffered a minor injury and didn't need medical attention. All right, so Mr. Jones, uh, we're going to continue your out-of-custody status. A judge released Jones on $1,500 bail. Afterwards, he's consoled as he wipes away tears before leaving the jail lobby. He's charged with a, uh, a misdemeanor, and it, it shouldn't be. A trial date has been set now for September 6th, and the judge has told Jones he is free to leave the state until that time, but he also has to remain in contact with his attorney during that time. Reporting live in Old Town, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Tim, thank you.